Hey guys, so Snow will be coming to GLDF OO as well and let's talk about his kit. Well, do you want Snow BTs? To be honest, Snow BT doesn't provide anything that special anymore. Last time there is all this Nova flow going so it was really fun. But yeah, now the niche, basically his BT provide Ice Enchant which you can get Ice Enchant from any other, a lot of other characters as well and also from calls. And there is this brave gain between HP Downs, but now we have like a lot of other characters that also provide this as well. So yeah, he, he kind of like loses out his uniqueness in terms of his BT. Um, and there seems to be no rework on it. But yeah, he still have that 30% HP damage up to the party, which is okay, I guess. Um, his kit, he's a tank, still is. He has HP regen, regen for the party, so um, with high HP damage reduction as a tank and then with the HP regen, you don't have to worry too much about um, yeah, about dying. He will be able to heal your party back up. Um, as a support, he has BT due to the brave gain between HP dumps because even though there's a lot of other characters that have this, but it doesn't mean that it is bad. So that niche it is still um an effect that will allow your party to cap so that is rather good for the entire party uh ice enchant from his bt he's an enchanter and he's now i would consider a nuker because his ld hit really 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 hard probably the hardest we have i guess later i will do some calculation but yes his ld hits really hard and how do you snow skid okay his FR first. His FR 40% ice ability, 20% active stage base buff or special effect, and 20% when he absorb or reduce brave damage taken. So which means you need the enemy to be attacking your party, then you get a 20%, and during his own turn is 60%. To me, that is not really a good uh, FR, and it's kind of like stuck in between nowhere. Like if you want to, if you want to go for a BT phase setup or something, you want that 80% generic, not 60%. And if you want enemy to take a turn and attack you, we have like Calgar 50%, Ruby Kante is uh, higher than that 20%. So you probably will not use his FRS main. So that's just use his FRS and Echo. So again, he sent as a tank. But he's not specifically useful for often strategy. He doesn't do counter attacks and he doesn't do any form of after attack. He does a preemptive attack, something like Kaur, but only during his own turn. Okay, not during any other turn, not during enemy's turn, so during his own turn. So you can assume that actually just add up to his overall damage output. And he is actually quite good as a tank if you are fighting an enemy that have occasional HP threshold like they do not take that many turn but they do have to take a turn once or twice in the entire match and then you have snow just tanking for that then you can continue back to set up your BT phase or a nuke phase so snow is okay for that okay apart from him being a tank I would recommend you to play him as a nuke so what do I mean by nuke is that if you have seen some of my videos um, like the one that I did for Lunora, I have Luna Freya giving her 4 turns and then she just used LD, 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 and LD. And you will be doing a lot of damage that way. So, Snow is perfect for that. So why is he perfect for that? We have to understand his Vendetta buff first. So this buff, every time he gets attacked by the enemy, it will then charge. When it is at max stack, Snow will do a preemptive attack during his turn and that is 9 full AOE HP dumps. That is insanely high, which is 18 HP dumps against 2 enemy. If it's not max, it's just doing 2 split HP dumps. So if you have Snow taking consecutive turn without the ability to increase the Vendetta stack, then you will just be doing additional 2 AOE HP dumps, which is not good because his normal skills deals like 10 ish HP dumps so if you add in that additional preemptive he does like maybe 14 or 15 which is just fine it's not great at all so I wouldn't recommend you to go into his BT phase he is not a BT phase unit but now if you're just playing normally like you don't have to worry about delaying the enemy which means 
assuming like if you have unit A, B, C taking turn, then enemy A and B taking turn, then unit A, B, C taking turn. Okay, in that case, snow is likely to get hit every time uh, before every time he gets a turn. So which means that he will get his Vendetta charged up and then he will do that 9 AOE HP dumps against the enemy at the start of his turn. So if you are just doing a casual run like this, then Snow is actually really strong because his LD has 6 AOE, so 9 plus 6, that's 30 HP dumps against 2 enemy. And I believe this is the highest we have so far in the game. Even Ignis is doing about 20 plus HP dumps, so 30 is really, really high. His EX will be 27, S1 26, and S2 24. And that's rather strong. One advantage is his LD. His LD grant him a max stack Vendetta buff. So, which means like if the enemy attacks Snow and now Snow have, let's say, Luna Freya's call is getting three turns in a row, or you have Luna Freya in the party giving him four turns in a row, and the first will be 9 HP dump preemptive, then you click on that LD, he will do 6 HP dumps, and then giving him the Vendetta buff, then now it's back to Snow's turn, 9 HP dump, and then 6 again, 9, 6, 9, 6. The thing is that not a lot of people hype up this gimmick is because his damage is split into two phase. So you can't see a very huge number just popping up, right? Because it is divided into two. But that doesn't mean that he deals low damage. His damage is actually really high. His LD especially. So if you want to use him, do go for do use him as a nuke. Uh Crystal Passive, I would suggest U6 so he get even more users of LD. And if you want D4 because he is a tank but he doesn't really have um, like healing. He has that HP regen as I say but if the enemy is going to hit harder then he may not be able to heal back on time. So I would suggest D4 so every time he gets hit he heals himself. So overall score I'm giving him an 8 over 10. Um, his new strategy gameplay can also be done without BT so you kind of like get a DPS unit that doesn't rely on BT, right? You are just losing out on that 30% max HP dumps, uh, max, sorry, 30% HP damage limit up. So, yeah, he will still hit very hard without his BT. Okay, for me, um, did I mention that I will not be pulling for Jesse? And that is right, but since Snow is and Jesse is in the same banner, so I will be pulling on that banner for Snow FR. Um, yeah, so whoever that is pulling, so good luck and enjoy.